Good morning. We are live on Facebook. It's Dawn Spiegelberg of BodyWise Bodywork. Thank you so much for joining me today. I would uh, love to give a shout out and a spout about to a few people. Thank you to all those who watch my videos and who comment. If you're interested in commenting, please feel free to leave a message at the bottom. And uh, if you're interested in receiving notifications of when this feed is happening, just click the video and choose Notify Me. Also, we are recording every Tuesday and Friday, which may change coming up shortly. We are having some dramatic shifts in uh, the things happening in our lives. And um, my kids are going to uh, pursue some different alternative education options. So that will affect my schedule and I'm super excited to partner with them and move forward with their education from a place of heart coherence. Speaking of heart coherence, that has been the focus of the most recent Facebook Live programs. And it's February Heart Month, so how perfect is that? All month long I'll be talking about hearts, coherence, and uh, the effects of being coherent or not coherent, and how you can become more coherent in your life. I'm currently completing a certification for that very thing, heart coherence. So I'm excited to share that with my clients and listeners. And uh, if you're interested in more information about that, please contact me. And if you're not, um, if you're not what? I will also be contacting some of you. So uh, I have a goal to make more phone calls and to help Listeners find more coherence in their life because fun 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 that is my life purpose If you don't know what your life purpose is, let me help you discover it It's not outside you. It's actually within you and believe it or not You're living your life purpose now even though you may not know what it is Also, if you need help with your 2017 goals, I am rocking my goals having a great time I've got some great information on how you can choose goals if you haven't yet, how you can make sure you attain your goals if you're struggling with that, and to move forward because we need to resolutionize 2017. Can't stand for the same old, same old. We gotta keep moving forward. Today we're talking about heart coherence. The amazing thing about hearts is that the magnetic field of the heart is 5,000 times stronger than that of the brain. And you know, in our society, we spend a lot of time talking about how important the brain is, the logical aspects of our brain. Fascinatingly, our brain is actually a lesser organ and lesser because it tends to run away with us all too frequently. Time and time again, I hear clients talk about not being able to fall asleep because they just can't turn their brain off. Isn't that fascinating that it is our own organ and yet we don't have control of it? That's just incredible. So some of the ways that you can make shifts into more control of, of your brain and how it functions is to integrate heart coherence. Now, let me share with you the heart, not only is it 5,000 times stronger magnetically than the brain, it's also a thousand times stronger electrically than the brain. And it turns out that it has a brain of its own and it's responsible for the physiology of our body. Here's a quote. The heart has its own neuronal circuit interrelated with the emotional brain that controls the emotions and the physiology of the body. So this is pretty fascinating. If you have a symptom, if you have a pain, if you have a problem in your body, underlying that painful situation is actually an aspect of incoherence regarding your heart and the rest of your body. There is something that you think or feel or believe that doesn't match what is true of your heart and it manifests itself as a symptom in your body. I'm going through for myself a very interesting uh, situation. This week um, I went swimming with my kids 
When I was growing up, swimming was a really difficult thing because I would always end up being sick and it happened to me again this week. On Sunday we went swimming and I've been having some symptoms with my ear, just that my ear has felt more open and vulnerable. And the vulnerability of my ear has been something from my childhood. So I was well aware that I was uh, reliving aspects of my childhood in some regards. And after I went swimming, I noticed there was some water that got in my throat and water that also got in my ear. And this week I've been sneezy, sniffly. Last night my ear was really sore and painful. And I was reliving all those experiences I had as a child. And rather than being upset about it, rather than wondering why I was getting feeling under the weather, I realized that there's some benefit to it. I looked up in my book recently the significance of the ear. Uh, I also had a little bit of a fever to try to get my ear functioning better last night. And also what's going on with my throat and the cough. And it turns out that the ear is related to unresolved anger. And so is a fever related to unresolved anger. And I realized that growing up, my older brother and um, my mother and my sister, they spent a lot of time telling me how I should be and not allowing me to be who I was. And I realized last night while I was reliving these symptoms from my childhood that I was very angry about that. And instead of being upset about it, instead of rejecting it, I actually accepted the fact that I was upset as a child because I didn't feel like I needed that I could be myself. And this morning I woke up and I have absolutely no ear pain. My cough is mostly gone and now I just have a little bit of um, stuffiness in my nose, but that's been draining out all morning. So it's really incredible when you develop heart coherence how it's possible to heal your body in dramatic ways. The heart and its coherence is connected to the energy fields of those around us. I posted on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram a picture of two hearts. Our hearts have the ability to perceive another heart in another individual up to 10 feet away from us. And the fascinating thing about perceiving someone 10 feet away is that our own electromagnetic field tends to be about three feet around our body. So if our own field is about three feet away from us, but we can detect individuals 10 feet away from us, what other information are we getting from our surroundings and from the people around us that we're really not aware of? They say, an initial impression, a first impression, is a long-lasting one. And have you ever stopped to think where first impressions come from? First impressions come from our heart and what's happening in our heart and the fact that our heart is reading the body language, the energy, and the facial expressions of other individuals around us. Heart coherence is really powerful. It's an amazing tool. Everyone thinks that the brain is king, that the brain is the superior organ, but really the heart sends more neural input to the brain than we realize. The heart is super important. Uh, the Greeks called the, the communication of the heart esthesis, which means to breathe in. It's really uh, very incredible because living in concrete walls, wearing shoes, and walking on concrete sidewalks, I believe has separated us from the connection we have to the entire world and each other. And with all of the current things happening in our political realm and in this country, now is the time to pursue more coherence, not less coherence. So if you would like to Try a little coherence. I have a brief exercise for you. 
the nervous system can be overstimulated by shallow breathing. So take a moment and just slow your breathing. Take about five breaths. And as you slow your breathing, imagine that you're breathing around your heart. So take slow breaths and imagine breathing around your heart. That is step one of heart coherence. If you'd like more information about heart coherence, feel free to check it out at heartmath.org. It might even be heartmath.com also. That's the body that is certifying me in heart coherence. And I'll be giving more tips and more information about heart coherence in upcoming videos. And as a matter of fact, I am building a website right now called heartwisebodywork.com so that you can learn how to integrate what your heart is experiencing with what your body needs and requires so that you can be whole, healthy, and complete. This is Dawn Spiegelberg of Bodywise Bodywork. Think headwise, feel heartwise, and move bodywise. Thanks for joining me.